from Nashville, Tennessee, Showbiz presents America's number one country music program, The Porter Wagner Show. And here they are, the biggest stars in country music, Porter Wagner, Dolly Parton, Beck Rose, Don Houser, The Wagon Master, and today's special guest, Mistress of Ceremonies, Dolly Parton. And now, here's Porter. Thank you, Don. We asked Miss Dolly and her band, the new Traveling Family Band, to entertain you on our show today. The Wagon Masters and I'll be along, too, and Miss Barbara Lee. But here is Miss Dolly to act as Mistress of Ceremony. Give her a big welcome. Dolly. Thank you, Porter. I feel very honored. Hope I'll do a good job. Thank you. Thank you so very much, and I hope maybe you enjoyed that song, and as I mentioned before, it's a great pleasure to MC the show today, because I've been a regular on the Porter Wagner show for almost seven years, and I can say that it's seven of the most wonderful years that I've ever spent, and I feel very honored and pleased that you've asked me to MC the show today, Porter, and I hope I'll do a good job for you. Thank you. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'd like to introduce someone to you now that has played a great part in my career, a man that's helped me more than anybody else to become to the point where I am in the music business and to make it uh, possible for me to have a show of my own. And I think he's one of the most wonderful people in the world. And he's going to do one of my favorite songs called Carroll County Accident. Here's the boss of the show, Porter Wagoner. How about a hand for Porter? Thank you, darling. Carroll County's pointed out as kind of square. The biggest thing that happens is the county fair. I guess that's why it seemed like such a big event. What we all call a Carroll County accident. The wreck was on the highway just inside the line. Walter Browning lost his life and for a time. It seemed that Mary Ellen Jones would surely die. But she lived long enough for her to testify. Now Walter Browning was a happy married man. He wore a golden wedding ring upon his hand. But it was gone, nobody. 
nobody knew just where it went. He'd lost it in the Carroll County accident. Mary Ellen testified he flagged her down. Said he was sick and could she drive him in the town. And no one even doubted what she said was true. For oh, she was well respected in the county too. I went down to see the wreck like all the rest. The bloody seat, the broken glass, the tangled mess. But I found something no one else had even seen. Behind the dash in Mary's crumpled up machine. A little matchbox circled by a rubber band. And inside the ring from Walter It took a while to figure out just what it meant. The truth about the Carroll County accident. By dark of night, I dropped the ring into a well and took a sacred oath that I would never tell. The truth about the Carroll County accident Cause the county ordered Dad the marble monument I lost him in the Carroll County accident Thank you, Dolly. Well, you did a good job. I feel kind of funny introducing you. You've introduced me for so many years, but it felt kind of good to What do you mean you feel funny? Well, not funny, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. odd. I'm really pleased to have you to MC our show today and give the folks a chance to get better acquainted with you and your band, you know, and I think they're just great, Randy well, and all the guys. I'm going to introduce them a little bit later, but right now you're going to be quiet because you're the guest and we're going to go to commercial. Good evening. My name's Wayne. Some of you may have seen me before. I hope so. I've been kicking around Hollywood a long time. I've made a lot of pictures out here. All kinds. And some of them have been westerns. And that's what I'm here to tell you about tonight. A western. A new television show called Gunsmoke. Jim Owens Entertainment is proud to take you back to where it all began. The first season of Gunsmoke. The Collector's Edition. Sometimes I wonder if there are some good men planted here on Boot Hill. 39 episodes of this classic Western. My name's Dylan. Remastered for pristine quality and sound. Now you men all know how I feel about lynching. It's the story of Matt Dillon, who tamed the lawless Dodge City, Kansas. Right now! He did so not only with his six-shooter, but with his courage. Sense of humor. I was hoping somebody would come by and save me from Doc's cooking. And the irreproachable integrity behind the badge. I can't shoot people who haven't done a wrong thing in their lives until today. Gunsmoke was stocked with a spectacular supporting cast. I'm not interested in what you figure, young mister. Milburn Stone is Doc Adams. Amanda Blake as Miss Kitty. But you're a dead man if you try him again. I'll get me a shotgun. I'll kill Grant. I'll blow him in half. And Dennis Weaver as Deputy Chester Good. I read your name on a wall somewhere, along with a lot of other names of dirty little men. Jim Owens Entertainment also takes pride in bringing you... 39 episodes of the first season of Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Richard Boone as Paladin. Paladin? Who has a passion for justice. That's the trouble with the lynching, Miss Bender. You can't have it ordered up all neat and dainty like a yard of Flemish lace. The first good guy dressed in black. Paladin was fast on the draw and handy with his fists. Major guest stars appear on each episode like Charles Bronson, Angie Dickinson, Mike Connors, and others. Now here is your chance to own these two series offered together for the first time for your private collection or as a gift for that favorite person. I think it's the best thing of its kind that's come along. 78 episodes on 12 DVDs for only four payments of $19.95 plus shipping and handling. What are you waiting for? What more do you want? But that's not all. If you order in the next 30 minutes, we're going to include absolutely free the best Western movie ever made. Shane, starring Alan Ladd, a $20 value 
absolutely free. Don't hesitate. Call now. Thank you very much. That's our traveling family band, and I'd like to take just a second now, if I could, and introduce the boys to you right fast. We'd like to start over here on my left. On bass is my brother, Randy Parton. Smile pretty, Randy. <laughs> Back here on the drums is another cousin of mine. His name is Dwight Puckett. He's a good one. How about a hand for Dwight? The only one in our group that's not a member of our family. We call him our adopted brother. Yeah? <laughs> the widely and that's right. He's a heavy. His name is Bill Rerick. He's from Pennsylvania. How about a hand for Bill? <laughs> and over here on the steel guitar, this quite shy, cute one, is another cousin of mine. His name is Sidney Spive, and we call him the Traveling Family Band. How about it for all of them? I'm awful proud of them. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm awful proud of these boys, and we hope maybe that we'll do a show that you'll be proud of when you come to see us. We hope we never disappoint any of you. Right now, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce the new girl on Porter's show, and she's a wonderful person, and a person that I've become quite attached to because she is a warm, friendly country girl, and I think she's a wonderful singer. I think she's going to go far, and I think you made a wonderful choice, Porter, and her name is Barbara Lee. Show them what you can do, Barbara. Thank you, darling. <laughs>
Thank you, Barbara. That's a wonderful job, and I know the folks are going to love you because if people like real things, then I'm sure they're going to love you because she truly is a genuine person, and she's a wonderful singer and also a great writer. And I'd like to do a song for you now that I wrote. This is a song that I had out a few months back, and I hope maybe you might enjoy this one. In everybody's life, there's a special person, a person that you love more than you love anybody else. This is a song about that special person in my life. It's called I Will Always Love You. Everybody, I'm Lori Ann Crook, and you know, for more than 20 years, the Music City News Country Awards were the only country music award shows that completely involved the country fans. They chose the nominees, and they voted for all the winners. Loretta Lynn, George Strait, <laughs> Reba McIntyre, and he stopped loving her. Now, for the first time ever, the Music City News Awards collection is available to you on DVD. 18 hours of entertainment on 12 video DVDs. You'll see more than 175 country stars and 160 great performances from what are considered to be the best years in country music. for only four easy payments of $29.95 plus shipping and handling. Order now with your credit card. I was country when country was And the best part, the video DVD collection will become more valuable to you as time goes by. Things a country boy can't use, Dixie Land is your mission, you got the highway for the moon. These are digitally remastered video DVDs with perfect picture and sound. 
One free phone call and this collection will be on its way. God bless the This is not the best country music collection you've ever owned. Simply return it for a full refund of the purchase price. No questions asked. So don't wait. Call now. Right now I'd like to introduce to you one of my very favorite people and also one of my very favorite comedians. He's a wonderful little man. He looks like the leprechaun, but you'll never catch your lucky charms. Beck Rhodes at the farm. At the phone. At the farm. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi, Sadie. Oh, it's me. You ought to be here. We got Dolly in the band and everybody. Yeah. Well, I've been downtown all day. This afternoon, I sat out in front of Sadler's store talking to Uncle Pinch, and we saw little Junior's coming down the street. That's Uncle Pinch's boy. And he was coming down the street all dressed up just fit to kill. And he walked up to where we was, and Uncle Pinch looked at him and says, Hey, son, where are you going all dressed up like that? He said, Well, I'm going to go to the circus, Papa. He said, You going to the circus? He said, Where'd you get the money? He said, well, Mama, give me a quarter for telling that I saw you kissing your secretary. Uncle Pete says, you did, huh? He said, well, here, you take this dollar and run right back home and tell your Mama what a great big story you just told her. <laughs> he said, well, when, when he was walking off, Uncle Pete says, thank you, George, I'm worried about that kid. He says, he's seven years old and he hadn't got but five teeth. He said, he's seven years old and only got five teeth. I said, well, I wouldn't worry none about that. I said, that's two more than I got. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I'll never forget the night little Julius was born. I went down to the hospital to sit there with Uncle Pinch. I sat up with him that night. And we was there in the waiting room, and he was pacing back and forth up and down the waiting room, all nervous, smoking cigarettes and everything. Next to this nurse come running down the hall, she hollered, I want some boiling water. Get some boiling water. Uncle Pinch ran up to her and said, boiling water? She says, what's the matter? Is the baby here already? She said, no, the doctor wants to make some instant coffee. Oh. <laughs> Everybody takes the time out for a coffee break, I guess. Okay, you ought to be here, and I'll see you at the bed. Okay, goodbye, Sadie. So long, lover. <laughs> Thank you, Speck. I always enjoy Speck. He's a great person. And Porter's asked me if I'd also do the hymn on the show today, and I would love to do that because religion has always been a big part of my life. And I'm like most people. I don't do my very best, but I try. And in my heart, I can truly say that I do believe. And I think this is one of the most beautiful songs that's ever been written. Hope you'll enjoy the way I do it. It's a song called I Believe.
house somewhere to do. Where the cotton blooms in the spring and the snow don't fly. I'm going to rest these chilly bones in the southern sunshine. And live where the weather is warm until I die. Very good. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for being my guest today. You've been a great guest. Dolly, listen, thank you for coming and doing our show. And I want to invite you here in front of everybody to come back uh, at least before very long, bring the band and do another one. Well, I'm course, just a you? fella that'll do it. You just thank did a you great for the job. chance to let us do it thank today. You, We'd like to call the boys around, Will, just to go out and let your band, the Wagon Masters, my dear friends, take us on home. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, folks. Show with special guest business Dolly Parton today from Nashville, 